Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Finally, after how many months of planning and redecorating, my home office is finally done and I am giving you guys an exclusive tour. So before we start with the entire tour, I just want to share a short story about this area in my house. This is actually my third floor. Initially, when we were building my house, we made this the entertainment area or my theater room because I love having guests over, my friends over. We like to watch movies, have a glass of wine, chat. Just a few months after my house was done, the pandemic came along and making use of the theater room was put on hold. So I started thinking about what else I could do with the third floor. With the pandemic going on, I started doing almost all all of my work stuff at home, all my Zoom interviews, meetings, pitchings, everything work happened from home. I didn't want to do my work in my room because then I'd be lazy, too comfortable. I didn't want to do my work also in the dining so much because I felt like, you know, it was a place to, to eat and have a conversation with whoever I was having a meal with. So I decided to transform this entire third floor into a home office and since then I've been working so so peacefully, less distractions in this area. Before we start, of course, special thanks to my interior designer, Nix, who helped me with the entire house and with all the redecorating here in my third floor. So let's begin. The first part I'm gonna be showing you guys, this is where all the magic happens. I have this cute office chair that I love so much. And then my office table, I've, I have here my scripts that I've been studying the past how many weeks. My laptop is here. I have all the books currently that I have yet to finish, so it's all there, so I'm reminded of them. I have my Kindle because I also read from my Kindle. I have my journal notebook, and then I have my pens and this really cute dried flowers from. And then I have this cute little um, shelf. Nothing is going on so much yet. You won't see any files. Right now, what I'm planning to do with all my files is put them all under the table in a cute basket. I'm still looking for the perfect area to put all my files. So right now, these are just like a photo with my siblings. Some chargers are there. My room spray, everything. So mga abubo, just cute little stuff. Also, I want to share with you guys this lamp that I got online. It's super, super cute. I like being organized. I don't like too much mess, but I like to put on my table everything I need to remember and be reminded of. Let's go to this area of the office that I like so much. These are my swivel chairs. Every time I have somebody that I'm meeting with, they could be just facing me and then I'm just right over there. Or, you know, sometimes I like to watch movies, YouTube videos here when I take a break from working or creating presentations. These pink tulips are so beautiful. I got this from my stylist's flower shop. You can find them on Instagram by kath.shop. So I like to order my flowers from them. These are one of the first paintings that I purchased before my house was built. This is one of my first purchases. So I place it there and my beautiful lamp and all my Coffee table books are here. I love candles. If you love me and if I'm your friend, give me with candles, please. And then what else? I have a little stool here just for more sitting, just for more um, people to be able to chat with me when I'm over here. More candles, another coffee table book, my TV speakers. So this one initially, these shelves, Finishing the house, we didn't have this, but when we created an office, my interior designer, Nix, decided that we add more shelves, so more storage. We decided to place here all the awards. Thank God for them. I added also a lot more of my coffee table books, as you could see. These are just some of the awards from the past few years. This was in 2017. 
Um, I think this was after Love You To The Stars and Back. This is 2018 and then this was 2019. I'm very, very blessed and very grateful up to this day. Photographs with my family. Okay, so this is one of my favorite photos of me. So that's my picture with Barney hugging him with my whole life. This photo is one of my favorite photos. This is me with my sisters, Danny and Claudia. Claudia was really our baby at the time. This was in Subic, my Lola's home. We grew up spending a lot of time in Subic because that's where my Lola lived. We spent a lot of time with him there. This one is a photo with my Lola. This was during my seventh birthday. I was really obsessed with Puka at that time. So I had a puka theme party and this was my photo with my Lolo who never missed a party of birthday celebration of mine. And I miss so dearly. This one is a photo with <laughs> my boyfriend. Um, I think this was our first Polaroid. And then this one is a portrait with my mom. Obviously I was very, very young. And this is my favorite photo of mommy and I from when I was a kid. So just a lot of memories in this shelf and a lot of stories. And then in this area, these are the books that I have yet to read. And I think I buy books according to like what season I am in my life or whatever situation I'm in currently. Nothing specific, but I'm also very much guided by my sister Claudia with books and she likes to recommend me which books to read. This one was gifted to me by a friend. Um, That's one of the best things I was given. It's called Open Doors by Rick Warren. And like every day, all days for the year you have devotion. But very short read, but it's good. Here are all my poetry books. So I really like poems. If that's something not a lot of people know about me. I really like Rupi and Lang Leave. I have a lot more downstairs in my room. Here, this is my wine cellar. It's my cute, tiny wine cellar. And right now, there's no wine because we've already finished my wine. I haven't been able to stock up on wine, but I'm gonna do that as soon as the shoot is over because I am reminded that I am out of stock. Because sometimes when I'm trying to unwind, like a break from work or even during, you know, work, just to get in the mood or whatever. I'm taking you to this area. This stool I love so much. I got this from Baguio in January. I love stools like that, um, a plant. This one, I don't have an artwork here yet because I don't want to rush into finding one. You'll know when you like an artwork and when you really want to get it. So I'm still looking for the perfect art piece for this one. Here is one of my favorite paintings. It just meant so much to me and struck me as soon as I saw it, I knew I was going to get it. There's so much you can interpret with this with this art piece, so much story. One day, I really want to be able to talk to the one who did this art piece and really ask the story behind this. So far, all the, the art pieces that I do have are from local artists. The two doors that you guys are seeing right now, this one is my guest room. Um, I can give a, a tour of that next time, but originally when we were building this, I was supposed to have two guest rooms, but so far I only have one because I'm thinking so hard if there's something else I wanna do with this room, I wanna know what you guys think, what I should do for this room or what else I might be missing in this house. Maybe you guys could suggest. Comment down below. I'd love to read them. I'd love to read your suggestions. And probably one of your suggestions or recommendations actually get picked and I'll let you guys know about that. This one's the banyo. The banyo you don't have to see. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what's happening in my home office. This is my favorite place currently in my entire house and brings me so much so much joy and so much creativity and so much focus so that's a little sneak peek a little tour of my home office and i hope you guys enjoyed that one